Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. You join us once more in the map editor where last time we were working on this, uh, well, kind of cave tunnel thing. Um, it kind of sticks out at the moment because although we put some trees and various bits and pieces to disguise the fact that a lot of it is just a bunch of cliff sections that have been rotated over onto their side. Um, yeah, there's nothing around it to really help it blend into the landscape. We have these two large hills, kind of inspired by the uh, the, the, the opening scene to Jurassic Park, where they flew a helicopter through there. And I'm hoping that at some point um, we too can fly a gyrocopter between these hills. I don't know if this one's um, too high for the gyrocopter because the gyrocopter does have a height limit set to it. But what we uh, what we're gonna do is put some dressing on there and hopefully allow players to. Uh, build houses and various bits and pieces up there. So we worked on this and we blocked in a large part of the island. Uh, one of the things that I've done is I've gone away and I've thought about what we were building and I'm like, mm, you know what? You know what? There's no point in trying to rush headlong at a map. Never any point in trying to rush headlong at a map and try and get it all done in a single night, in a single evening, in a single day. Do it. Do a little bit, work on it a little bit, then go go to go to work or have a shower or go to school or I don't know. Just do do something. Do something that isn't this and allow your subconscious mind to work on it. Because then you'll be like, oh yeah, no, I, I, have, a, I have a really good idea. I've got this really good idea. Listen to my idea. Right. Because that's exactly how I imagine nobody sounds at all whatsoever. So yeah, this bay here, um, kind of an important bay. It's kind of an important bait because we've got so we have to work out how people are going to walk from one side of the map to the other um people are going to want to path they're going to want to not only go in the straightest line possible but they're also going to want to climb up on everything that they can climb up on and explore so at the moment we have we go and just bonk the camera down we have a big kind of about that high Hang on a second. I've got this. I've got this. Uh, we're on objects. We've got structures. Oh, we got a door. We, well, I'm doing it wrong. We got a door. Okay, and the height of the porthole is there. Okay, cool. So we can click on the door. And we can go, goodbye door. Goodbye. So this is uh, about as tall as you will be when you stand on the beach. My, those big, those big mountains. That's also fairly big, but not insurmountable. Okay, cool, but everything else is a bit, it's a bit flat, it's a bit barren. So we're gonna have to break up this scenery, break up this landscape. And one of the ways we can do that is to use a feature, what we have used in the past. In fact, there's gonna be a lot of using features that we have used in the past, but we are conglomerating it on a single large island tile because that's what we do. That is exactly what we do. Uh, use things that we've used in the past, but fit them to our current needs. So, uh, we are going to be playing with the uh, offshore sandbanks this time, and if we go underwater, boop, there's a slight problem. You can probably notice in the map editor, there is no underwater fog layer, so I kind of wish that was there. Uh, also, the caustics don't turn off, and sometimes you can get a bug if you are part in the water, like this, and then you turn the ocean off. Let's see if we can force it to bug out. Yeah. We can force it to bug out a little bit. I don't know if that's going to come on the, on the recording. But yeah, you either you want to be above the water when you turn the display ocean off. There we go. Better. Better, better, better. Done. Cool. So yeah, we have this kind of uh, beach section. We have a like a cove. But to be honest, it ain't doing much. It ain't doing much for me. It's not exactly doing it. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to work on it. Um, and the idea of breaking up the island into small chunks and just working on tiny pieces is a really good idea because that means you don't burn yourself out. It also means that you don't, uh, you don't, you don't do something because there's no undo in this. There's no levels of undo. There's no history. There's no nothing. So we're gonna hit raise. Make sure the amount slider is down. Make sure the size is down a little bit, and then just brush along here. In fact, we'll turn the ocean back on for this because this is important. Um, yeah, work on it a little bit, come back and then work on it some more. Uh, you don't get the, you get the blue brush above the water. You get it 
under the water, but you can't see it through the water. Very important. Very, very, very important. So I'm just going to click and hold and brush backwards and forwards with the amount on its lowest setting. And I kind of want it. Hmm. How far out do we want to raise this up? Probably out here, actually. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's do it out here. Doesn't look like anything's happening. It is, trust me. Um, we could probably put the amount up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Unless I was clicking on the wrong... Unless I was clicking with the ocean on, in which case... Because it always gives you the freaking... So the, the settings will give you the, the brush, even though it's not actually doing anything. I don't, don't know why that is. Please, please. Oh, oh, developers. Oh, uh, Blizzard. Come on, come on, Blizzard. Come on, Blizzard. Um, Rockstar. Come on, Rockstar. Get it, get it sorted. Come on, um, Rebellion. Come on, Rebellion, get it sorted. Bullfrog. Wow, Bullfrog still exist? I don't think they do. Uh, what did Bullfrog do? Yeah, let's bring this out. Uh, they made... Ooh, they became Lionhead Studios, I think. Uh, they made... Uh, the Magic Carpet game. They also made Theme Hospital, the original Theme Hospital. Uh, they made... God, what else? Um, theme Park. Yeah, they made, they made a lot of stuff. And I think they were one of the, but they one of the first victims of EA. They were just like, Bruh, gonna get rid of you now, because you don't like you. It's like, oh, please don't do that. They, they were quite good, but then Lionhead Studios, uh, Lionhead Studios made Black and White. That was an okay game. It wasn't quite everything Peter Molyneux promised, but it wasn't bad for the time. Um, so, yeah, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the map editor. Come on. Uh, I'm running out of game studios. Um, Activision. Come on, Activision. Stop stop messing around. No no more loot boxes and Stranded Deep. Uh, also, fix the map editor. Cool, thank you. Um, so, we've got, oh, we've got the, the amount up because we just smoothed everything off. So, we crank it back down again. And what we're going to do is push this back. Uh, just to shape this little send bank. It doesn't need to be too high. It's going to be a pain in the butt for people who are sitting in a raft over here. I'll tell you that for free. I believe. Uh, let's, let's simulate this. Oh no! Oh, oh wrong button. Oh. <laughs> Where are my fingers? That's the one that I want. Oh no, shark! Donk. <laughs> Oh no, the shark's now tipped our raft over. That was a poor simulation. That was a that was some Friday night crime watch simulation there. Okay, right. Uh sandbar. The trouble is the rest of this is kind of a little bit it's not great. No, uh, display ocean. Okay. We can uh, we can sort this out. Right, read terrain height and read it from here. And then mount up a little bit. And then really just bring this out. A little bit. A mount slider. You tease. Okay, let's do this. Let's bring it up around here. So what we're doing is we're messing around with the sea floor. Um, just making it a little bit shallower around here. Cool. And then we can grab the smooth height. We can grab the amount. We can slide it up. Slide it up. Because um, I don't want... What I don't want are big triangles. Sharp edges. No sharp edges. No sharp edges. Uh, cool. Obviously the underwater section is going to be populated by the game itself. So when you put it into the world, that is exactly, you know, the, the, the game is just going to be like, you know what? You know what? I appreciate what you're doing and I will put in a load of plants and rocks and things. Usually, usually um, kind of just offshore, just where you want to park the raft. That's usually where it puts a bunch of stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do is this is kind of this is not great at the moment, and I really wish the sun would stop. 
Let's stop disappearing. I kind of want to see what I'm doing. Kind of want to shudder. Right, let's hit lower. Make sure the amount's down, because otherwise we'll punch a hole straight through uh, straight the center of the planet. Lower, please. Lower, 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 lower. Nice. Absolutely brilliant. And then... Yeah, look, everything's gone dark. This is... This is not a fun feature in the map editor. I want to see what's going on. This is... This is not good. Guys. Um, Ubisoft, get it together. So, we are going to go to our objects. And we are going to find some rocks. Rocky rocks. Uh, big rock. Big rock. You are a very big rock. And we're going to drop you in. We're going to hit R to rotate. And we're going to press T to transform. I'm going to go down. And we're going to hit R to rotate. I'm going to find a better surface. Something like that. Oh. Hey, okay. Fine. Nice. I see what you've done there. Grab this rock. This rock? This rock. Alright. And we're going to rotate a little bit back. And rotate it around. Good. Cool. Hey, what are you doing? I, I didn't ask for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Um, so what I'm doing is throwing in some rocks. And you're like, oh, I, don't, I don't understand. Don't worry about it. It's all become, all become, uh, it'll, it'll, all, 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 all will be revealed momentarily. Whoa, hey. Oh, so that's a, that's a funny little bug. Um, we've just dragged this out. We're not going to drag it out. But because that's been selected, yeah, there, there are sometimes times when you, you drag an, uh, an item out and if you have if you have something selected you may accidentally rotate or move it or whatever um, to unselect something hit terrain hit objects it ain't gonna happen then right okay we need this we need it it is very important this rock is here because uh, sand doesn't just um, appear by itself it needs something to kind of cause the sand bank to appear initially so what we can do is take a big rock Drop it into the earth and then do that. Cool. And we're going to do the same thing again. And we're going to do it with this. We hit R to rotate and we're going to press T to transform, drop it into the earth. All right. That's nice. Cool. Um, then we're going to get the uh, terrain. Uh, we hit raise and lower, hit raise, change the size down. So it's very, very small. That's not very small. That, is that very small? Is that kind of small and disappointing? Yes, it is. Good. Uh, so that's exactly what we need now. Uh, we're going to bank up the sand around there. And we're going to bank up the sand around there until we get that sort of very pale sand texture. And do that around here. Hey, wait a minute. This looks a little bit... This one is what I was expecting. I know, right? Cool, now. So we're going to take the bridge off this because I can see all these little triangle, triangly bits and pieces and I don't want triangles. Nobody wants the triangles to show. Uh, so we're gonna, gonna get rid of some of that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But what about this? What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, no, okay. So we are using this. Uh, we're gonna hit uh, raise and lower and raise. And then we are gonna raise on one side of this rock, but not the other side. Hey, what? Yeah, cool, huh? So you have been to the beach ever been to the beach like a proper beach uh real big beach you might find that there are items on the beach like rocks or those big wooden walls you get on the beach they're called groins g-r-o-y-n-e-s and they usually are at tourist beaches or anywhere where there's coastal management and those are for holding sand on the beach. Um, and you find that sand is always piled up against one side of them. Yeah, that thing. So what we're doing is we're putting this in, and we're putting the sand on one side, but not the other. See? Cool, huh? I'm going to do the same thing here. So we're going to raise and lower, and we're just going to raise on one side. Nice. So we're going to have one side wet and the other side not so wet. Simple. Simple, 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 simple. So it's kind of an ad adaptation of a few things that we've done before. I want to smooth that a bit more. 
Thank you. Uh, an adaptation of a few things we've done before. That is the offshore little um, island, uh, offshore sandbar, um, but also the um, the sort of laguny thing that we've made before, the sort of mangrove swamp. So an amalgam of, of two kind of interesting things. So it just means there's other things for people to jump on and explore when they're on the map. And uh, just smoothing everything off. Cool. And it's starting to look a little less silly. A little less, oh my god, uh, and a bit more, oh, oh my. So, we'll grab another rock. A rock? Are you a rock? But not a rock. Lobster. Um, what I don't want is the same rock to accidentally be... That is the same rock, right? Is that the same rock? Kinda. Well, let's not risk it. Let's find a different rock. You'll do. It might even be the same rock. We might have just beansed it. Properly beansed it. But that's okay. Um, so what we're going to hit is T. We're going to grab the red toggle. And then we're going to grab the blue toggle. And then we're going to do the exact same. But we're going to give a little rotate because everything seems to be a little bit too much in the same direction at the moment. Um, Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we can go back to terrain. We can go back to the raise and lower and on only one. Oof. Oof. That mount slider. Dear. Uh, ion storm. <laughs> Dear ion storm. Jeez. Where are, they? Where are they these days? I don't think they're anywhere. I think they became. Ooh. Is that Ubisoft Montreal? But I think so, maybe. Uh, I can't remember. Honestly, can't remember. So we're going to have to fix this by raise and lower. That mount slider is inherited between all the sliders. Do not treat it lightly. It is a cruel mistress that will smash you terribly when you least expect it. Um, just keeping it family friendly. So we're going to raise this up over here against this rock. So this beach. Beach, 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 rock. Boom. And then, oh, interesting area. Because we can use these to edge things out. Cool. Uh, I just kind of want to bring that up. We slightly beans it by having this amount slide up set wrong. But, but we can rescue it. Um, if we'd have had it set any higher, we might have created a massive peak. Now, one of the things you can use is the set height. Read, terrain, to set height. Click on the height that you want from the existing terrain, and then you, you, it will only ever go that high. Uh, whereas if you have the raise and lower, and you have the amount slider cranked all the way to the right, you might put a spike in the world, or you might put a pit in the world all the way to the bottom. And when I say all the way to the bottom, is there a bottom to the world? What happens if the camera hits the bottom of the world? Boof. Dunk. Um, I mean... Uh, uh, uh. Yes, yeah, so there is a physical bottom to the world. And there is a physical edge to the, to the tile. So... It is essentially in a box. There is also a weirdness with the... So if you can see right in the centre of the screen... The rock's level of detail. The the model just explodes after a certain distance. And I've noticed it over here as well. Uh, it's slightly harder to notice because of the trees. It's, there's a lot of weirdness currently in the map editor. Um, which should really be looked at. Come on, uh, epic. <laughs> we got another one. I don't know how long I can keep doing this. I do not know how long I can keep doing that. Uh, we're using the smooth tool because there's a big ridge there, so let's smooth that out. The thing is, it doesn't need to be like 100% perfectly smooth or 100% perfectly straight or anything uh, because the coast is not. It is water, and water will find things that you like. What does it do? Um finds the path of least resistance and then exploits it for its own gain. Yeah, that's water, in a nutshell, really. 
I'm using a small brush and we're just kind of raising the sand up uh, because the smoothing has pushed it down too far. I kind of want it to be dry on one side. Uh, let's change the size up. Uh, let's mount up a little bit. Just by a pixel, maybe. Okay, cool. That's uh, that's good. Oh no. Well, that'll smooth out. It'll buff out. It's fine. Do I want the... the trouble with this rock is it's so high up that it starts to change the texture on the top. And I don't want grass sprites to start forming. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, we will smooth. So yeah, you might be you might be doing this a lot. Painting in and smoothing back, painting and smoothing back, but eventually you'll be rewarded with a nice, nice landscape. So cool. Now the other thing you've got to keep an eye out for is bubbles around the edges of any sort of uh, water area. Like uh, it's kind of faint, but there are bubbles there, which means there will be a hole in the uh, water mesh at that point. So we're just going to hit raise. We're going to put the amount down. We'll put the size down. Oop, and just raise it up around here. Allow the uh, allow the game to recalculate the edge of the water. Let's crank that up. And smooth it off. Uh, crank that up and smooth it off. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, we're also going to need. I kind of. I want to do something more with this. This is. I wish the sun would stop going out. I wish the. Because the clouds aren't actually tied to what's happening in front of the sun. There are no clouds, but it's still getting sort of darker and lighter, and it's kind of slightly, slightly ruining, ruining the flow, I think. Um, come on, monolith. You're better than this. Wow. Yeah, we, we, we're getting there. <laughs> we're, we're getting to the, the limit of the developer. Uh, good. Good, 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 good. Um, so we need to we need to do some more stuff around here. So we're going to throw in some more objects, more rocks, more rocky rocks. Don't need the big ones. Oh, we can use little ones. Big ones are kind of useful, I guess. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do this. Um, rotor rotate, T to go down. So even if you reuse the same rock a, mul a multitude of times. What you don't uh, necessarily get is it looks like it's the same rock being reused because of the way we're using them. So we're going to come train, uh, raise, make sure the amount is down because they're going to catch us out every single time, every time, and then bring that back to so this area here because now there's a rock there interfering with the flow of the sand. Ah, so we, we've set a, a bunch of rules for ourselves in that sand will only appear on one side um, but here because the rock is in the water it's going to be natural that this side is the side because there is already a raised area of sand this side is the area that is uh, going to be affected by the rock being there so we can bring the sand up quite high on the side uh, click click clickety click because I want Mm, sort of micro adjustments. Micro adjustments. Cool. Uh, good. Good. Good, good, good. Um, and if we want, now we can use the small rocks from the bottom of the pile. Small rock, hello. Just to jam into places where you might have a, an issue with the train or an issue with the fact that there might be bubbles and stuff forming or you can just use it to uh, just add detail without adding like another massive ass rock massive ass rock ass rock ass rock whoa that's not a developer that's a motherboard manufacturer well that doesn't count um good so we're doing this and creating a rocky beach oh how cool is that it's really cool. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, I think it's actually okay the way it is, you know. Drop you down. Drop you down, right. So it makes sense now that there's a sandbar off the off the coast because of the uh, the rocks and stuff holding the sand in place. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to go back to terrain because uh, if we notice something, we should deal with it. And we've noticed that this area. Oh. So the camera speed is of its own. It moves of its own volition. Uh, come on, Treyarch. Get your, get, get, get your game fixed. I'm just trying to remember if Treyarch was actually a developer. Uh, yes, they did. Uh, they did. They did Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yes, they did. We'll crank that up and just let the smoothing tool go ham on the area. Oof, Call of Duty. I mean, the first game was all right when it came out. It's like, whoa, massively cinematic World War II shooter. And then, oh god, he he published infinite versions of the same thing. Oh, Activision. Oh, Activision. You cheeky scoundrels. Uh, well, let's see what we want about Activision. They're not EA. Right, 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 right. So we have this kind of broken shoreline now. It is a perfect place to start putting things in. But one thing we do have to check is the tides. Tides and times. So we'll change it so it's... Um, that's... So that's low tide, and everything is fairly high out of the water. Yep. And let's change it back to high tide. So that's about high tide, and everything is still significantly out of the water. Right, now we can see there's kind of a ridge there. I kind of want to get rid of that, but I don't know if we can smooth that out. Um, let's do it. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can smooth that ridge out. I don't think we can, only because of the way uh, the the geometry is rendered. I think that's that's just part of the triangle mesh of this place. Um, can we do something, or is that just making it steeper underwater? It's making it steeper underwater. That is not helping. That's not helping the cause. Right. Okay. Fine. Amount down. Raise and lower, we're going to have to raise this area here because this is not a good landing place for uh, a rafts. Should someone slam a raft into it, I just want to raise it up uh, so you don't have to walk on water. But you can walk on the mountains once you've landed. Um, good. So let's do that. And then everything is a bit beans up, but that's alright because we can change the size up, the amount up. And then smooth it off. And by smoothing it off, we lower that height again. Okay, bearing in mind this is high tide, we'll just smooth under the water, just kind of blindly, essentially blindly. Um, and then we go back to set time and low tide. Ooh, yeah, that's a problem. Suddenly a problem reveals itself. And the problem is that we've... Oh, we're not actually doing anything. Uh, the problem is that by smoothing this off and raising the land just there, uh, we've created this ridge. This sort of ridge racer? Hmm. Oh, Sega. Sega. Oh, no, they're a publisher. Do they make game? Oh, I can't even remember now. Sega, get your act together. Um, so we're going to just r uh, lower that slightly. We're going to turn the ocean off for the time being. Ah, oh, those caustics are making it super hard to see. Oh, uh, that's a problem. All right, uh, raise and lower, amount all the way down. Uh, size is smaller. And then hopefully uh, we can click on lower and then just take that edge off. I'm going to go into the little sandbank a little bit. Okay, cool. Right, is that... Are these the droids we are looking for? Okay, let's go display ocean. Yeah, kind of. Still looks a little bit... Um, looks a little bit... A little bit, a little bit wrong here. All the way up. Uh, what's, what is with this sort of weird ridge that we've got? It's because the, the world is made of triangles. The mesh is made of triangles. I think that's a bit better. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of what I was looking for anyway. Okay, time of day. Let's set it to a nice bright midday. Uh, there? Really hard to tell. Ugh. Did we do... Oh, we already did monolith. Right. Right, okay. I have... 
I think I've got that to where I need it to be. It doesn't look like a lot's changed, um, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, except I might be clicking over there now, so I'm going to hit on objects. Uh, because we need to go to the trees. And we're going to start putting stuff in, close up rocks, because we don't need that anymore. Uh, kind of, maybe. Uh, we got some young palms. We need some palm trees. P-A-L-M trees. Cool. I'm going to put them between the rocks. And we're going to hit R and just give them a rando rotate. R for rando rotatian. Right. Do a little rando rotate. Do the same thing there and there. Press a little T. Pop you down. Uh, put me down in the water. Um, a little lower. A little lower. Palm four. Palm four. I think you should be. You should be okay there. T down. Uh, rotate. Boom. Boom. And suddenly, what? What is going on, baby? The level of detail is that rock in the top of those trees. What? Okay, so the LOD. Uh, there's a lot of stuff broken in this map editor at the moment. I'm gonna say that. Your map is gonna look weird until you go into the world and have a little little look see. Codemasters, get get your get it sorted. Get it sorted, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop working on Toka and Do they still do Toka? I can't remember. Uh, okay, fine. We are also going to go here. And one of the things we're going to do is go back to the trees, 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 trees. Oh, what possible tree can we use right at this moment in time? Well, we have a bit of water. Yes. And what I was thinking of is finding the ficus. Hello. That's the wrong icon for you. But the right icon for me. Okay. And we're going to hit R. And we're going to rotate you around till we find a nice branch. What is going on with this? Why are you over on one side? What? Yeah, okay, so the axis is a little bit messed up for us. Uh, I want... What? I want the blue. Fortunately, we don't have too many rocks here. Uh, that's going to help us help the cause, I think. Um, T brings you down. We can actually bring it down right into the ground and have two, what looks like two trees. Two, two branches from the same tree. Um, so what I'm looking for is this. This branch here going out over the water a little bit. Creating a little, uh, little bit of shade, but also uh, we can check the height of that by whipping out a door. Hello. So a player running along is going to be about... Uh, this tall. So they're not going to smack their head into the branch. Yeah, nothing's nothing's weirdly clipped into the ground. Well, maybe that bit is. Um, okay, so uh, T, make sure the door is the thing that's selected. Because the game has a habit of selecting stuff in the background. We'll delete that. Um, is that okay on its own? No, well, kind of. Uh, we're not going to create a super tree this time. We are going to go here. We're going to go find... The ficus family. Hello, ficus. Where are you? So there's a ficus. Uh, ficus too. And we're just going to drop you down into the ground. And we're just going to hit rotate. Uh, ru. Ru to rotate. And we're just going to bring you out in such a way that you look like part of the main tree. And we keep snapping onto stuff in the background, but that's okay. And uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's better. It gives it a little bit more bushiness without going ham on the old uh, tree -less, less thing. Cool. Uh, what we should probably do is actually give it a reason to be here as well. So, uh, rocks. Rocky rocks. Hello, where, where are my rocks? I need to get my rocks up here. Um, so, we're going to do is drag that in, drop it down, give it a little rotate. And then uh, T to push you back. Down. And then, uh, so let's add in another little little decorative feature. Now we know if we add stuff on the beach, uh, what we're not going to do is have uh, grass sprites. 
appear through the rock. So we can use them fairly decorative on the sand. Decoratively on the sand and it'll be absolutely fine. We'll go back to trees and we'll grab some shrubs. I think you can't be a little bit too big there, buddy. Uh, what's a little drop? Hmm. Got an idea, lads. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because the ficuses should be really have something underneath them that players want to find. I think that's that's one of the general rules. If you want to find something, look under a ficus. Kind of one that we've been using along. Why would we stop stop now? So let's put an aloe vera under there. It's a little hidden. Not quite hidden, but you know, hidden by the noise, as it were. Cool. Uh, so that's that's in there if you want to find it. Or if you don't want to find it, then you know. So you can motor towards the beach. And then... Donk. Oh no, I am stuck. But the shark probably won't come up here now because it's... Yeah, that, that's a much more natural beach. Uh, this area here, splishy splash, you get your you get your waders on. You'll probably be fishing stuff in here as well. Cool, again, probably be safe from the shark. Maybe. It's not massively deep, but, 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 um, what it is, is, uh, yeah, I don't think the shark will come here unless it clips into the world, in which case it becomes a land shark, and then, well, it probably will, will bite you in that little shallow area, but that's not a problem. I kind of like it, I'm just look, sort of looking around, except for the lovely detail uh, effects on the tree is kind of off. It's not really uh, an issue. Okay, we've got some other things we can stick in here. Curras, quawas, driftwood piles. We should probably put those in later, maybe. Uh, the bush is not that anymore. It's big and it's green and kind of ugly. Uh, the nana. Oh yeah, hello. You're, you're a really useful little plant for putting in and having a little bit of extra ground cover. So let's do that. Make sure you're not clipped into any tree trunks or anything, because that would be tragic. I would told you the tragedy of Darth Banana Plant. Yeah, yeah, one of Lucas, uh, it's a tale that Lucas Arts won't tell you. Right, okay, so the Nana's in. Nana's are slightly problematic because Nana's will um, cause issues with players trying to jump over them. So if you're like, oh, you know what, I'm trying to jump over it. You're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuffed. That's what you're going to get. And you'd be like, I am sad now. Hear my sadness. So this ficus, it looks great. It's like, wow, I love what you've done with the place. Slight problem. It can be chopped to pieces for wood. So if someone comes along and is like, you know what, I, I really, really like wood. I like wood. They're going to chop your trees down. So anything like this is just going to be chopped away. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I think I will leave it there. We're going to have palm trees. So that's fine. So if it does get chopped away, I mean, there are some players who will come to an island and just deforest it. There are some players who will go to an island and not deforest it because that's the island they live on. And they, they're like, oh, you know what? I'll go and chop down a different island. But if I want resources, if I'm if I'm not, you know, super hungry or whatever, then um Yeah, we, we can get stuff from a different island. So is that yeah, that's the one I'm moving. Okay, cool. I just like these things as structural plants because it adds a as a green screen to everything, but it but it doesn't um uh so yeah, it breaks up. What you want to do is break up um, the visuals. So as you're coming in, you don't want to see, oh, it's just flat beach, flat mountains and stuff. You want everything all broken up so people can't see too far in a straight line. So uh, it looks like there's more stuff here than there is. So it's a big island. You've got to put things in to break up the visuals or break up uh, the way people walk around the island. So what you don't want is people just walking from one side of the island to the other. You want them, you want to give them things to jump over. Uh, you want to give them things to climb on. You want to give things that kind of get in the way. So 
Nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The nice thing about the rocks is they all... Uh, you can actually have them all touching each other. I'm not going to do that with that one. Have a little bit of sand showing through. Hmm. I like it. Another. Another. Right, so we, we're working on this area at the moment. Um, which does mean this bit here is kind of looks a bit strange. So what we can do is terrain object. Uh, just to un unlink ourselves from that thing over there. And we can go back to the terrain. Uh, we can go to raise and lower. Uh, we can change the amount all the way down because that would be super bad. Um, hit lower, hit a larger brush, and then just kind of push this beach, push this into a steeper slope, I guess. Um, because this connecting beach is now is now a feature. Before it wasn't a feature, so we're going to have to modify this. Uh, we can change the amount up. I can just click and hold and just brush backwards and forwards. It's cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like the steepness on this side. What I don't want is it just to be like, bonk, here's the thing, and it stops, and it's like, yeah, no. Don't like it. Do not want. Do not want. So we can push this back in a bit. I'll smooth it off a little bit more. But it, it just makes no sense uh, visually the way it is. So we'll push that back, push that back, push that back. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. It's a bit better. A bit better. Uh, we can give it a reason for being the way it is. Uh, by checking some rocks, on some cliffs, or whatever. Um, what I'm going to do is just lower this bit here. And then hit the smoothing tool. Crank the amount up. Make sure it's a nice big brush. And smooth. Crank the amount up. Crank it up. Crank, crank, crank it up. Okay, cool. And it's going to pull the mesh around on the top and around the outside. Cool. And the same thing around here. Let's do a little... There we go. So that's a bit better. As, oh, actually, a lot better. Well, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? Not ourselves, that's for sure. Right, okay, fine. So we've got this area here. And now that, that ties in a little bit better with that. Because before it was just like, bunk straight onto the water. Uh, now it's pushed back a bit. But, but, it's kind of visually not quite right. There's, a, there's an issue with this. Now we can throw in some rocks. And that will clear that up. A little mystery. Uh, we've already got one rock down there. Let's get rid of that for a second and just see if we can use a cliff section. I say cliff five, you got ugly, but no, it's it's a weird level of detail effect in the map editor. You are gonna have to deal with it, I'm afraid. Um, sorry about that. Well, my sorry, it's not my map editor. Ooh, uh, let's bring that up. A little bit. So these cliff sections, uh, one of the things I've got to say is that, okay, let's get a clip, let's click on terrain then objects. See cliff six, where are you? So we'll bring you out. And as you can see, it's all bare rock. And then on the top, grass. Okay, right. The top is grass, but the side is bare rock. But wait, if we rock that over onto its side, the side suddenly becomes grass. And the end, which was grassy, is now bare rock. What? Yeah, you can use that to your advantage. Um, which is why all this up here has like a grass texture on it. Like a muddy, grassy texture. It's one of the cool things that's been around for a while. Oh, the longest time. Uh, so we can add a little bit of interest here. You won't see the level of detail popping so badly when you're uh, actually running around, but it, it just kind of adds a little bit of detail. You can also, as a player, just be like, bup, 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 stand here and, and admire the beach or, you know, your raft drifting out to sea or whatever. So cool. That, that feels a little bit better. Uh, there is another cliff, another interesting one. Is it this one? Uh, rotate. Yeah, it is. Ugh, rotate a bit more. Press T. 
Now go down so we can tie these cliff sections together. Um, can we do it like this? I feel I want to do it like this. Yep. So yeah, I wish I could turn it off and on just to see before and after. There's a load of things I wish I could have uh, in the game, but uh, in the map editor. But you know, you, you kind of wish, and then. Hmm. All right. So and we can also have. That was a cliff five there, was it? Oh, yeah, that was. Press the C to clone. Boom. Uh, but what we don't want, because if we just put those side by side, oh look, it looks a pattern repeat. That ain't. That's not. That's not friendly on the eyes. Oh, but wait, what are you doing? Ah, thank you for asking. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm just moving this back a little bit, so that what we're doing is getting a bit more cliff for our money. Uh, there we go. There we go. So we've just created a little bit of a rock, rocky, cliffy edge, and again, this area here is a little bit too. I just get train objects so I don't accidentally click on a cliff and drag it. So we'll go to big rock, find a big rock, and just uh, 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 drag it in there. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure we can do something with this. Um, yeah, we can. We, of course, we can. We can hit terrain. Oh, we can hit raise. Uh, we can change the amount all the way down. And then we can change the size of the brush down. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then just raise this up here. Just that. Okay. Just that. So these objects are now messing with the terrain. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Uh, brilliant. And then smooth. And then we crank it all the way up. And then we smooth it off. Oh no, it's all disappeared. Well, no, it hasn't. It's still there. It just has a weird effect on... I think what we can do also is throw something in here just to make it look like there are still uh, rocks affecting it. So, uh, small rock. Hello. Small rock one. I think so. I think so. Um, push it down a little bit more into the train. No, no sand and stuff. Uh, no grass texture is going to show through there so it's not a, an issue. Uh, what we can also do is throw in some planty plants, trees. Uh, are you the droids we're looking for? I don't feel you are. I mean it would work but I don't feel the other droids we're looking for. Okay fine. Um, yeah we can stick some plants in just around the outside around the outside. So we'll rotate you. Nice thing about plants is people are like, oh, I just have to walk around them. Don't tend to question, you know, why they're there or whatever. There's a deep old drop. We're gonna have to come back and sort that out at some point. Uh, we'll throw one of you in. We'll throw another palm tree in as well. Palm tree. What are you looking like these days, buddy? So we'll just back you up into the crevasse of that rock. Um, raise you up. And drop you down. We'll rotate to make sure your leaves aren't all facing the right direct, uh, same direction. We could probably throw in another palm tree because it's at a different altitude. Just there. Hit rotate. Boom. Done. So uh, we are we're getting more coastline. And it's looking... Well, tree, come on, dude. It's looking a little bit more natural. A little bit more natural. That bay on its own was looking not so great. Uh, so what we've done is we've made the sh the, she, the sea a little shallower um, on the approach. We've added a sandbar. Uh, we've made the sea a little deeper after the sandbar. We've added some rocks. Um, we've raised up the beach. We've added some uh, structural trees, plants, and various bits and pieces. Uh, we've added the cliffs here, we've added the rocks here, um, we've added a few more plants and we've played around with the side of this so that although you can still walk up it quite handily and over the top, we've now added the cliffs and they also add things that people can stand on and admire. Your handiwork! So good. Um, yeah, that is... 
I'm happy with that. I'm actually quite happy with that. We'll obviously come back and do another pass. We'll add foliage and supplies and various bits and pieces, but it's time to move on, find another small section. Well, actually, that was quite a large section of the island, but find another small section of the island and have a little play with that. So essentially, that is that is what's going to happen. We'll go away. We'll think about it. We'll allow this to uh, allow our subconscious to play with this, and then we'll come back and we'll add. Uh, we'll do another section. And we'll just keep going around until we've got to a point where we're happy with it. And then we'll do uh, like a pass with um, all the rest of the plants and foliage and animals and things. And then I'll be done so. So, yeah, I am I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So if you're liking this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. And you know what? You know what? I'll catch you next time.